hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl your girl Asta Akini. a very very warm welcome to this channel so kindly if you're new to this channel kindly subscribe to my youtube channel give it a thumbs up and, like, and you love this type of content don't just pass Kama wewe ni mgeni, karibu sana kwa hii channel. And if you're part of the family, welcome back again, guys. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, my viewers. Thank you, my subscribers. Na wapenda sana. We are at road to 1,000 subscribers. Yo, ha. Very soon, we are going to hit that 1,000 subscriber, guys. So, in today's vlog, we are just going to talk. Ha, ha, ha. Today, I'm going to talk about my C-section experiences. The experiences that I had with C-section, live alone no more lady, but so I'm going to talk about my C-section experiences. So, the first one was not the same as the second one. So, in the first one, actually for me to say this, something just inspired me today. So, and then we were in the studio and then there was this song I was just singing and I was just remembering how far God has brought me. And yo, it's a blessing. And I said, why not? Let me just reel this out. So, the first one, actually the first one was different to the second one. Because the second one, I had these thoughts of, oh, you know, C-section and all that. So, the first one was an emergency. The second one was an elective. Yeah. The second one was planned. So, the second one was planned. So, in the first one, I got to this theater and then it was like, I'm like, you're going to see us, blah, blah, blah. So, so Vilena Skianga says in a conga noma and all that. So, I'm like, oh my God. I entered the room and ni kanza kufanyiwa CS azimuona vile CS na kuanga ume surroundiwa na hawa masipi ana star ward si nini ni gynecologist and all those type of doctors nurses and all that wame kusurround so i started feeling some pain actually at the katikati ya session i started feeling some pain and yo nikauwama mwili mzima so nilikuwa naona nikisikia uchungu naona umse mnyana kwa ngapa hivi anaongelesha wase ukifanywa CS like kuna mtu anakuwa ngapo mnyana alikuwa amekudunga hizo anastesia anapoongelesha nini nini bla 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 so alikuwa anaongelesha kasikia na eh nikaanza kufeel uchungu so the whole body was ni kama niliwawa mwili mzima so i wake up and then i find myself niko maybe into another room so by then i didn't even i I, I didn't had like vile watu wanakuanga watoto and all that so I didn't experience that and I remember nilipelekwa kuna room nyingine nilipelekwa ya recovery if I'm not wrong and to make matters worse I was coughing on top of it guys <laughs> if you just know that you're going for CS or any surgery please make sure you you know be cough or you know be cough it almost killed me Imagine you are coughing na ume, ume kwa hizo incisions and you are, you are not just doing like, <coughs> you are really, really coughing, like deep cough. Na unajua msia kikof, unaitolea kutoka uku chini kwa abdomen. So it was very painful. By the time, by the time ni anze, by the time yo dawa ishe kwa mwili, dawa ya kuwa mse ishe kwa mwili, nilikuwa nisha dawa ilisha kwa mwili i think haraka and place nilikuwa nimewekwa nilikuwa nimewekwa tu kwa general ward i don't know why they did that by the way cuz siku nilikuja kuangaliwa once so ni kama walijua hii dawa maybe bado itakuwa kwa mwili and remember i was coughing so by the time me dawa ilienda kusha kwa mwili i am coughing dawa imesha kwa mwili i'm feeling so much pain actually it was so painful that sijai ona pain kama hiyo by the way I think at a labor pain, I na pain kama yu. I felt so much pain. And unajua na kukua, so you feel like kidone nafanya, ni kama inafunguka. The whole body, body ya mdote liku imekufa, as in singe za inuata inkono. I couldn't lift my hands, I couldn't lift my head, I couldn't lift anything. But the more unajua vile umeza kume hold the cough, utaki tuko kwa kwa sababu ya uchungu. Then, siju ni mati ama ni hewa inge, siju kwa, chaki ama inge wapi place in your face when you're my friend you will cough like nobody's business and then you will feel so much pain so 
I felt so much pain. I even fanya nikachukia siye sana and I was so afraid. So I remember there was a doctor mwenye alikuwa nafanya patrol. Then I was, I managed to call. And then nikakuja nikadungwa shinda na zingine za pain. I think they didn't expect that nitasikia uchungu vile nilikuwa nimesikia. I think so. They didn't expect. So nilikuwa nasikia uchungu, nikadungwa mashindano and hakuna kitu nilikuwa inanisaidia. I was still in pain. I was still in pain. I remember. So I remember there was a ilikifika asubuhi I was in so much pain and I couldn't even wake up. By the time naambiwa wake up to go and check your baby, I could not. So I gonna hey, this is serious. Okay, na kujama doctor so pain killers like wanna dunga pain killers all over and then all of a sudden I just woke up with a feel vizuri. And that was it. I think that was you know the pain ya mwisho. To my first section that was the pain in your skin. I think that night up to your morning, you really see a pain, as in deep pain, deep, deep, real pain. So from there, I think I didn't feel much pain because and all that. So I came to feel another pain. That is a story for another day. So I thought that the second C section would be like the first one. So Nilikwana woga, because Nilikwan can imagine to me experience the first C section. It's the same same thing that I was going to experience again and I couldn't take it. And you know, this other one, it's a must C section because it was it was an elective C section. Yes, it was planned. I planned the day, the what, the hour, I all those things. It was just planned. It was not an emergency. So you know you're trying to find out for my friends zako c section ya pain akonda je baby like it is very painful blah blah blah, blah. so kitilinti a woga a very close friend of mine alienda go into a second c section and it was so painful for her to an extent that aliyekwaji alisiu na hiyo kitu ilikuwa inanipatia woga guy oh my god i just can't imagine what i went through before all these things were done because I was just trying to think about all these things and as it was in an idea up. So here comes another C section when I will see. And then Dokia may come like those nurses are there, they're beautiful. I by then you depend on as mona um munya and kuja kuya take and ask her, Muzam says you know you are going when I can get theater, you are the first ones and I'm like, What are you doing this? <laughs> So naanza ku imagine vile vile nilikuwa na skill chungu ile sisi ya kwanza sijui nini naanza nikaanza ku picture vile wo oh my god am i really going to make it and here yeah, i am i made it <laughs> so nikaenda usini then unajua definitely ukekewa maji nini nini hizo maji za chungu five times kwanza before you enter so mimi huyo nikaingia aki nilikuwa na tens nilikuwa na tens kama msaje ifanywa sisi and these guys were like see this is your second cs so we are very sure that I would let you walk up. Guys, you guys, they don't even know experience me. Lipata, na you experience me. Lipata, I want to do it. I can't now go for other Zaidi and Zaidi. So, this is me. Ni mefika ni mekapali. And then, you can imagine when I don't want to go to Mbongo. When I don't want to go to Mbongo. So, come on, I'm going to go to Mbongo. I'm going to go to Mbongo. I'm going to go to Mbongo. I'm going to inject Shindano and unaambiwa ukitingika unajua hii shindano utadungwa tena nyingine so you don't want something like that in a bit too ujiambi you know what calm down relax let them do their thing nika relax so in this one it was quite different i loved it and i couldn't believe so tuko tunapiga tu story things zinaendelea i'm just there tunapiga story and yo i had the baby crying is the baby okay yes the baby is okay tunapiga story and in the last minute nikupelekwa pale Unako ka resting room, wakiangalia presha yako and all that. And the baby was there. Very fine, very okay. Now, nimepele kwa room ingine yako. So, nikajua, ah, nikasima, wow, this one, hii mekua tofauti. I just loved it. Mi nikwa nafikia on ta car, then ta pwa mtuwa sibui and all that. But I was so energetic. Nikwa nuna everything, leningia and all that. So, I felt good. This second one was not the same as the first one, but now here comes the catch. To pain, that way can take a isha. That way isha rack up the way sana kwa mbui. That way can take a isha. Nikaza kusikia pain. 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 
pain that I could not even lift to my own body. Pain, you feel so much pain. And then, I don't know, I don't know, maybe na depend na madaktari. And then they are like, awezi kupatia painkiller so frequently. As in wanangalia duration painkiller, meka komili yako masangapi. But then ili kwa mazungu wa bitu, wafena injection. Wanangalia ina kawa kwa omili yako masangapi, ndi opewe ingini. So sometimes when I have to kudanganya because you're in pain, 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 pain. So I didn't know. After being discharged, by the way, so I am here. I'm just nursing the pain. Where that thing was painful. With the first one, I felt pain in the process and pain that night. With the second one, I didn't feel any pain in the process. I didn't feel any pain after there and all that. Now pain in the end, I have to bad die up to two months. I think up to two months I was in pain up to two months. But the one I control na pain killers. So when I came home, I couldn't even sit. I think you pain killer fanya I couldn't go back to the same Fanya was in section because it was far. So here this is me. I'm in so much pain and all that and Unajo uko in pain. No one told you, no one told me, sorry, no one told me that. As much as you're in pain. You have children, you need to take care of them. Yes, you're in pain, but you you won't forget that you have children. You won't forget that you have a little baby that you're supposed to take care of. Yes, you are in pain, but you have to. You just have to breastfeed them. You just have to take good care of them. You have to change them and all those things. Yeah, but I would admit that I didn't have a good supporting system by then because my sister was around, yes, but she was working so most of the things I was doing them by myself and Eddie was there to support me also. And again, he was still working, so he couldn't give me a hundred percent support. I also couldn't give myself a hundred percent. So when you fanya, you do it. So I remember that pain in the endelea and then I went back to work. No, just duties because you need to walk kutembea so that you don't go back to you don't go back to CS and all that. No, no. I don't know. 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 So they told me walk, do some walking. Actually, if it is it is a kufanya mama, you can as well do them as long as you don't strain your body. You make sure you listen to your body and then you do something. So I used to listen to my body, then I could just stand up. Me at least I could stand up. I used to bet my baby by the way, ever since I was the one but in a raised place like a kamenza so it was so easy for me i couldn't i won't complain and this pain was just there but like when i manage na pain killer so like when i buy diclofena na meza your pain by the way i was in a panadol oh my god panadol how where so like when i was a bit like when i kiss here like pain in a sack which are kumbali so when i was a diclofena no because that pain, my friend, there is nothing you can do. Not even holding that baby. It will just be by force. So, I remember one time it felt like... And then another thing, and you don't know these things. For a very long time. So, and all that. So, there was this one day I felt like, you know what? Nasikia niji, nasikia nimesha kuona, so nataka nijimwagie, nijimwagie maji nisikia vizuri. Kwa zinekwa naona, ah, nimepona, nikijari kukuangalia kidole kwa dry mimi. Nika sama, I want, nataka nijimwagie maji nisikia tu vizuri. And then, nilikuwa, kuna venye nilikuwa na panguza surface, and then nika try, you know, where's it bend? Like, you don't want to unisa yourself. So, I remember the mistake that I did, I squatted. Nili, inama hiki ni kama na squat. Namaza. So, nili mistake nilifanya nili na machine nikana squat. I think that is.
that is what I think me na nanga I did wrong and nikaoga nikasema eh nasikia vibaya acha niji atika tu leo nisikie tu vizuri niji mwage maji nisimame kwa shower ni chisugue and then niji mwage tu maji flow vizuri i just want to feel good my friend feel good the way with this section you want to feel good you cannot even feel good so what happened there was this campaign i started feeling at after ni memeza dawa so i asked my friend kwani this second section kwani inapona na how long cuz I never experienced this thing with the first C section and then I can be am I still you will take take some time before you heal so I was like oh my god what is this so it was a point I was feeling so much pain in the right side of that incision I was feeling so much pain mpaka nashindwa kwa nini nini singeza ka and then nilikuwa at that point sasa nime nimefika 2 months at that point nilikuwa 2 months 2 months nimemaliza 2 months i'm worried i'm in pain so i'm like kwani nini imefanyika so one day i decided you know what wacha nichukue kio niekele hapa chini i want to see what is happening we nikaona usana damu inatoka remember kitiko kwa kichwa yangu ni uki mess up unarudi incision ya pili na hatua kudunga shindani ya kufa as much as atonge kudunga sindano ya kukufa you can imagine wana cooperate again na seti ni mtoto anatoa as in umepata infection and all that as in it was so painful for me since day one up to that two months and then hiyo kidonda inafunguka so tukasema hapana now this is serious kuangalia yeah it is true confirmed damu inatoka usta inatoka I didn't sleep that night by the way I didn't sleep nilikuwa na first nilikuwa nasema oh my god narudi kwa kifu tena this is an infection I'll google una google nilikuwa nimeshinda google nilikuwa nimeshinda youtube nilikuwa nimeshinda google naangalia watu wenye washaipata infection how was the infection handled nini nini most of the things ukienda pale internet na kwambia ukienda pale google itakwambia tu in another cs to clear up infection and all that because it is my friend those informations really was so so scary i did not even sleep by them i was just thinking that vile nenda i was the following day nenda kuwa detained niingizwe theater and all that and i've been pain nimemeza pain killers lakini what ushe skele kumbe ni hiyo usaa vile usai me deform and then ile kwa mefura this one side ile kwa mefura so vile usai me deform Unaona vile mnaweza kuwa na boil and then usa inapumua unasikia tu fanya and your place inapumua oh my god <laughs> Nilikuwa nasikia uchungu mpaka nasema hizi dawa ni gani jamii mimi sasa nataka kukufa mama hii sasa ndio gani The following day tukaenda hospitali I went to Bristol Park Hospital Wenda nikasema hapana nenda kuona daktari direct nikaenda nikaona daktari daktari kanambia mbudala kwa kitanda kuangalia akafungua kidonda ngalia kana mbaya sana infection ah it is get the infection nikaisha nikasema kana kuuliza daktari so what next daktari kanambia no na kurudisha kwa nurse nurse atajua na kurudisha kwa nurse nurse is going to handle it so nikamwambia it's not a matter of nini it's not a matter of kwenda theater tena kanambia no hautaenda theater tena akajaribu kufinya na unajua hiyo kitu size ni uchungu aki uchungu nilikuwa nasikia mungu nilikuwa najua Una just say anafinya finya hivi kando I feel kama maybe infection imeingia ndani ama nene kurudi kwa nurse nurse kanaambia yeah there is an opening kidonda imefunguka na ndani ni usa so what we are going to do <laughs> hey guys you can kindly subscribe to my channel kwanza before i tell you what what just happened nasa naniambia what you are going to do tunaenda kufinya hii kidonda kila kitu yenye kwa ndani itoke una feel hiyo na kuna shindano umepewa tieta ya uchungu ama nini na there was a like part this other right side ilikuwa imefura so you can imagine ni kidonda already you in pain you umeleta to two months C section two months how japona kidonda bado ni chungu but doki ana daktari nas anafinya na kwamba mpaka anaingiza unajua vile mtu anaweza afinywa anakwambia uma uma meno Nataka nifinye hii kidonda ndio pas ikibaki ndani infection itafika kwa uterus Na infection ikifika kwa uterus my friend another infection so you don't want infection ifike kwa uterus as much as amekwambia uweni theater inabidi tu uume meno 
akifinya. Wah, nikafinywa nikafinywa. Bado anaendelea ananiambia pasi ilikuwa mingi. Vumilia tu nifinye yote. Akafinya aka akatengeneza vizuri aka dress. Nilikuwa nirudi for 5 days iki ilikuwa monitor. The second day I went back. So unajua niko na uoga already niko na uoga. Already uoga isha nishika. I'm like oh my god. I'm just left with one month nirudi job job yangu ni akuka. I couldn't sit by then. Nilikuwa tunafanya kazi ya kutembea. Nilikuwa nikitembea I feel better. Nikilala I'm in pain, nikika I'm in pain. So ningeshinda tu hata one hour nimezunguka tu kwa nyumba natembea tu natembea 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 so that I feel good cuz ukilala una feel pain. Ukika una feel pain. So that was my situation. But no hakuna mtu alikuwa anajua as in that so I was really trying to hide na kuweka smile on my face and life will just move on. So nikarudi the second day you know when I came back kwa nyumba I was like oh my god nikaanza kupata stress nikarudi aje job cuz nilikuwa na feel vibaya singeza tendea for a very long time singeza kaa singeza lala vizuri nikilala nikiamka I feel so much pain Kama tamleta kidogo mtoje Amo tamleta Sasa umleta Tamleta basi So I used to feel so much pain unaona Sasa nikakuja nika the following day I still went back to Mama come say hi to the people Hi Ashley Mwambie subscribe to my mama's YouTube channel Subscribe to my mama's YouTube channel Okay thank you mama So that was what happened Nikarudi kwa nyumba and I was like oh my god Sasa chakua aji job nitarudi aje and at the same time life must continue you have children life must go on kuna mwenye ako shule so you can't say that maybe utaenda cuz i had options maybe ya kwenda place yenye nitashughulikwa vizuri but my baby was in school so it was hard so ikakuwa like when we came back we were like you know what we need help in this house edi told me that we need help in this house and i was like Vile nasikia, the only help we need is someone we would pay. Because I just, I feel like I just want to rest completely. Staki kuguza anything, as in staki kuguza anything completely. Because niki listen to my body, my body is telling me, you know what, you are not okay. And if you joke, you are not going to function for a very long time. So nilingi wana panic because... This is me listening to myself, listening to my body. Sisi tembea for a very long time and I'm asking myself questions. Mimi ni mse mwenye naweza rudi job anytime. Yes, I'm working from home but tunaweza rudi job anytime. Yes, I'm working from home kukaa imenishinda. Yes, I'm working from home. I'm a business person. Nafaa kwenda niende is list, niende kama kunjis, niende wapi. Hizo zote zilikuja zika stop cuz singeza fanya anything. So I'm just there. I think even that was the time I re I decided you know what I'm going to start YouTube thing cuz I wanted to keep myself busy cuz I couldn't do anything ya kutoka nje ya nyumba so I was just doing in those things cuz so that was that was how by the way I started my YouTube channel cuz I felt like no I need to do something I just need to do my things here and there and then I start this YouTube channel thing. So that is how I started it. That is a story for another day. So let's continue where we left. So I come the following day nikaenda. Ah, tena hiyo pass ikaanza kuform. Tena nikufinywa but this other time I kukuwa mob. So nikafinywa. So hata sikumaliza the 5 days yenye alikuwa nataka nikafinywa. It was painful but unavumilia tu cuz you don't also want to be in theater and then nikapewa antibiotics. And that was it. The third day, kidonde kafungana. The third day, ilifungana completely. Ikafungana. Remember, I'm not taking a shower. Najipanguza tu. And nimeambiwa pia usikae. Cause na ukika, uweke kanguo hivi. Unajua, I think CS pia ni ngumu kupona kama ukona nyama we ni mnono. Cause ukika, iyo place ikikuwa sogi. Ni sogi yama ikikuwa majimaji. Something like that sogi. Haukuni ya raka. So that was what happened to me. And the third day when I went back, kidonda ilikuwa mefungana, kidonda imejifunga completely. 
as in not like nini hakuna sasa shimo and then this nurse <laughs> anafinya bado hiyo kidonda ako like inaweza kuwa imejifunga but bado unwanted things zimebaki hapo ndani so ana try kufinya na afinya ati ati anafinya hivi ati kadonye nye hivi anafinya anaingiza ndani you know you in pain hii kidonda bado ni mbichi hata hujapona anafinya 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 and then is, she's like today we are not doing anything we are just cleaning surface ya juu and spraying so aka clean akaniambia it is well iko sawa we are just going to clean it we are going to spray it we are not going to dress it iko sawa so what you do make sure au fanye vitu ulikuwa unafanya make sure you give yourself rest make sure hapo haipati maji as in pgp mepime and if you feel there is something and you feel like maybe una una need kurudi hospitali ama ume notice something come back immediately so that is how i got healed nikarudi hiyo sky kajifunga i continued with my life and then i started the journey of looking for a nanny i was like you know what it's a no way because nilikuwa nakachi mimi nafikiria what about my life I now started thinking about my life. That was the time I came up and said I can't do it by my own. I need to look for someone when you will just be there to just help me and I'll pay them. They are there to help me not that at any charity organization or money or anything like that because I was scared about my body. I couldn't handle now anything. So that was it. Two weeks I didn't do anything. I was, I found a nanny two weeks I didn't do anything I was just resting feeling good waking up cleaning my baby and then I will just sleep and sit and rest the whole day so I think even what I what I did wrong ni kufanya hizo kitu kitu nilikuwa nafanya hizo kazi nilikuwa nafanya I think CS I taki kitu kama hiyo I taki anything yenye nakustrain you will not heal you will never heal So if you're there and you don't have a support system kindly start looking for a support system because yes I take in chezo as much as there are some things unafanya yes I was careful so many things I was doing the understanding because nilikuwa an okay that you need to walk so I was doing so much things nikiwa tu nimesimama but mwili ilikuwa inakata mwili ilikuwa inakata day by day kidonda na feel it was strained and all that so for those two weeks I didn't do anything and i started now sitting for there was a day i sat from morning so nilikuwa najaribu kujitrain na jipima cuz i'm just left with two weeks na naanza job so nilikuwa najaribu kujipima nione if nikika nimesha rest nimesikiza mwili wangu nimesikiza kidonda sasa imeacha kuwa kali naanza kai yes i'm feeling some pain but not ile deep pain yenye mwili imekata naanza ka for a very long time nini 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 and then that was it that was how i got healed that was how my body rested up to now guys so that is it basically my first experience was not my second experience i think the second experience was quite harsh at first is what it wasn't harsh but your journey up to two months it was not easy for me actually it was harsh very very harsh It was harsh. and then i remember i called my friend when you fanywa na yes but yeah i come fanywa first yes uko home and then akaniambia ulioga ngawaambia ngawaambia yeye nilioga akaniambia you did a mistake akaniuliza unakunywa chai ya maziwa nikamwambia yes nakunywa chai ya maziwa tin akaniambia stop so from that day by the way up to now i don't take chai ya maziwa ibo as in i stop taking chai ya maziwa as in ibo sana so hizo time yenye nilikuwa in pain like a month nilikuwa nakunywa chai ya maziwa i think nilikunywa chai ya maziwa only once in a month nilikuwa nakunywa tu koko neka maji neka koko na kunywa hivyo neka maji neka koko na kunywa hivyo na kunywa hivyo because aliniambia hiyo kikunywa chai ya maziwa kidonda ipone na nilikuwa nataka hii kidonda ipone by all means so hata mtu angeniambia anything by that time ningefanya tu see i don't know kama ninge resist so that was it and i was okay and that is it that is my experience actually with the first and second c section and i would really love to advise somebody out there if you have ever gone through a c section you really need help by the way for you to heal una need help people go through different experiences i have so many of my friends who have gone through different experiences and 
one of these fine days i'm going to welcome them in this show so that they can tell us their experiences and you will see these experiences are very very different and then there is this another thing like when you give back and then somebody is like then you tell them yes and then these people are like oh i don't know if you get me like if umejifungua na yes there is maybe i don't know maybe people feel like there is nothing you've done what what oh my god you've done a lot so if you're that kind of a person when you, you just want to congratulate people when you wamezana wamezana normal delivery not yes ole wako what you're doing is really really very wrong what you mean are going through a lot and sometimes it's not even their choice and even if it's their choice people go through a lot what you mean to say that is section and inner pain and all that my friend that thing is painful ha huh? it depends with your body it depends now even in and the same way as normal pia it depends on your body and another thing that some people when you may experience labor pain and at the end of it or maybe like c section so don't like okay skin time is on a c-section don't be like oh c-section no please don't do that so guys thank you so much for watching my videos now thank you so so very much for watching till the end just share with me your experiences nini you will find if you are so different in your delivery like maybe come will come to a normal delivery and then i go to cs and all that yeah you can just share there and i also went through a normal delivery by the way and it was a nice experience and i wouldn't love to i'm that kind of a person when you, even if somebody tells me right now to deliver normal i'll just say no way as much as cs is gonna that much pain hey normal way i way labor pain you want to joke with labor pain labor pain go kill you <laughs> so guys Thank you so much for watching my videos. Na wapenda tena sana. Comment hapo chini if you've ever gone through is if this section yako ilikuwa na experience poor ama ilikuwa na experience mbaya. So many people wanna get afraid. So many people wako sawa. They will really want to have more more and more and more this section but inalingana pia na mwili wa mtu, inalingana na condition ya mtu, inalingana na all those other things. Thank you everybody. Na wapenda sana. Bye bye. And guys remember to subscribe. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.